Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Unhinged. This is a 2020 film. It just came out August 21st and it is rated R. It runs an hour and a half and it stars Russell Crowe, Karen Pistorius, and Jimmy Simpson. The description is real easy. After a confrontation with an unstable man at an in intersection, a woman becomes the target of his rage. This is Unhinged. Well, thank you for watching this video, everyone. If you'd like any uh, correspondence with me outside of YouTube, I do have my Facebook page. It's called Danny's Movies and Music. If you'd like to check that out, I do have a lot of bonus content on there. Uh, just hasn't really clicked for me on YouTube. So I just keep going and plugging along here. And uh, I have a lot of more... Uh, likes and followers and that's why Facebook gets more bonus content so um, I will admit that I would have liked to have seen this movie in theaters but there aren't really any open around me as of yet so I was having to watch this on a different platform the other night and I liked it enough but I really wish I would have seen it on a big screen I think it would have helped out just a smidge. So, uh, we have to start with Russell Crowe because he's the star of this movie. It's really the reason why this movie is getting traction. Um, it's getting a lot of comparisons to older movies, which I don't really care about because, honestly, even if I've seen older movies that it's being compared to, I don't really remember them, and so I don't really care about the comparison. Uh, this does have an older feel to it, so when Russell Crowe said he would be in here, I'm like, that makes sense. You know, I mean, he's kind of to those type of movies, if that makes any sense. Uh, but uh, he plays a fine, crazy person. I don't think I'm going to blame anything on him in this movie. I'm just going to blame things on the people who wrote his character, wrote his lines, uh, gave him his motivation, um, you know, whoever is in charge of all that. I think Russell Crowe did a phenomenal job with what he had at his disposal. Um, all the violence, all the surprising moments, all the car chases, whether he's behind the wheel or not, I don't know. But um, I think he did the best with what he was given in this movie. Uh, this is not a real blockbuster you can tell by the grade online and I think it was a little surprising that he took the role I think a lot of people could have done this role and done something really amazing with it and I think he did just as well as he could I think it's everyone around him that kind of makes this movie a little bit lower value and just the feeling of the movie just does not impress um, his co-star maybe our main character of the movie um she is always doing things that just don't make any sense you know i mean i could just be really happy that it wasn't in in a crowded theater because honestly when i was watching this movie i'm like why are you still in the car why are you not going to the child's school why are you just talking to him on the phone about the child why aren't you going you know like i'm just like trying to push the character the whole time and so it's one of those movies you know where you know you're like don't open that door and they open the door so um it's frustrating you know this kind of movie gets to be frustrating and uh i think that when you have a movie that is frustrating and doesn't have common sense and the characters are doing things that you don't want them to do I think it just drags the movie down you know it's not that this movie goes slow but it just has things in it that are like come on and uh, you know so it drags the feeling down and maybe makes the movie feel slow so with that is the car chases and the action and all that stuff yes it's good what people call jump scares you know there's lots of big crashes that you're like oh no are they okay 
and there's a couple things that Russell Crowe gets to do that you're like, oh no, we didn't want that to happen. And all of this is built off of one thing. That he had a crummy thing happen to him and then somebody cut him off in traffic and now they're the thing, you know. And mostly I kind of appreciated that there was more to the story than just him getting cut off in traffic because that's what this kind of movie was painted out to be and that's what the description is. But um, I think they waited way too long to release that information because once it came it was like, oh, okay, there's more to this. There's like drive and there's, you know, there's remorse and all this stuff. And it really, you know bloomed out the emotions and the feeling of this movie other than just being something kind of stupid so i think they could release that a lot earlier with the information but uh once it came it was like oh wow this is all really making a lot of sense so i don't like the first scene that they had i, I never liked foreshadowing right at the beginning because once we get back to that you're like oh well we knew this was coming um and honestly, with the jump scare stuff, with the action, like, it's all good, but it's not the best I've ever seen. It doesn't quite measure up to other movies. And I think I had a real problem with the feeling of this movie. You know, I feel like it was set in an older time. Like, like I said before, I know people are painting this out to compare to other movies that are older. But this one felt like it wanted to be in those time periods, in the 90s or something, when those movies were made. It wanted, it felt like it wanted to be like that, in that time period. So, I just think they could have done a lot better with this movie. I was actually a little bit disappointed, but I liked it better than most people, apparently, online. And so, I'm going to give this a B-. And I think that a lot of people are watching it, because it's either in theaters or you're able to watch it at home in some format. So I'm glad that people are watching this. I'm glad that we have new movies coming. And uh, I, I'm hoping to get to the theater this week. But, uh, you know, there's lots and lots of movies to watch. Uh, Mulan is coming soon. Tenet is coming soon. And um, I think Unhinged is going to be forgotten pretty quickly, at least in my brain. So it was rather disappointing. I think that B- minus kind of can show you that it was really this close to a C. And being a C or a B minus kind of means you're middle of the road mediocre to me. And um, I think it's going to be quite easy to forget. I think it was just to move the first movie to vault us into getting excited about theater movies again. And it can be remembered for that for a long time. But other than that, I don't think that anybody's going to fall in love with this movie. But uh, there's some bad reviews. There's some good reviews out there. Get a good opinion about it. Go watch it for yourself, and uh, my grade is a B- minus for Unhinged. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watched. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.